Alternate Draenor is unlike any expansion zone, meaning we completely left the area and didn't maintain any sort of presence. In the meantime, the crazy light Draenei took over, Durotan died in battle, Ogres turned to the light, becoming the very first Ogre Paladins that we have known of, certain zones completely changed, the planet is dying for some reason, some natives arrived to Azeroth, and most importantly, a lot of time has passed there. By BFA, decades can pass since Force of Draenei, and since BFA it has been over 5 years, meaning it is likely another 3 or 4 decades have gone since the Light Crusade and Yerel taking over. So what is going on with Alter and Danor? what are the zones like today and could you expect to see it again very soon? If you guys are looking to buy Dragonflight or anything Warcraft related, Gamibo has some amazing sales that you can check out with my link. On top of that, you can get software, gift cards, various games at crazy prices. Best of all, you can use my code DORON to add yet another discount to your purchase, so make sure to click my link below, check out Gamibo and grab some amazing deals. Alternate Renor is a really strange place. It was a strange place when Blizzard announced it and no one saw it coming. It was strange when we went in and we got two patches and it is strange now since we had left. The most major difference is that we have about zero connection to it and we cannot reach it whatsoever. It was confirmed that in an unknown point in time the connection between Renor and Azeroth closed and there is no way to get back there. We only managed to do it once with Etric during BFA and that is that. However, what is the biggest difference is that we also maintain zero presence there as well, which is unlike any other expedition that we had went to thus far. For example, on Outland, we still have our bases there and a skeleton crew. Same with Northrend or Pandaria. I mean, sure, the forces are a lot less than they were during the expansion, but we are there. We can return if a new threat arises and we have the infrastructure in those places. However, that is not the case whatsoever on Outland Draenor. During Worlds of Draenor, we built a whole bunch of bases. We had a significant base around Ashen and some decently sized forces there as well, but we don't really know what occurred later. I'm guessing we pulled back a bunch of resources, but it is likely that the bases themselves were either overtaken by the native races or they really just fell to ruin over time. However, the most interesting thing about Alternate Draenor is that we had been there about a decade ago and realistically, by BFA only a few years had passed on Azeroth, but Draenor fast forwarded like 3 decades, seeing that since BFA we got another big time skip, it is very likely that what is currently going on on Alternate Draenor is drastically different than the update we got with the Mega Orcs. However, we do have some limited information and a few hints over the years. So we've had some pretty solid lore about the ending of Worlds of Draenor, we know that for sure. The Legion was defeated, essentially all demons were gone from Draenor, the pretty big Gorian Empire fell apart, the Ogres ended up being barely a significant force as opposed to their peak when they essentially ruled the world. Most of the Orcs and the remnants of the Anna Horde united under the Magar, which essentially just means uncorrupted the Orcish language, and they were led by Gromash Hellscream, who was very old by the time that we had seen him again. For a while, the orcs and the Drana united, they lived in peace, I'd even say they had very good relations as they had united after the defeat of the Legion during Worlds of Draenor, however, seeing that a few decades had passed, things started to sour and we don't really know how, but the relations just started deteriorating by the day. The main culprit that we know of was the light as the Draenei just started getting more and more fanatical. Now, the thing is, Blizzard is purposefully kept this vague, which is why alternate Draenor could be relevant soon. Soon, but for some reason, Draenor actually started dying. There was like this green tin, the nature itself began to fall apart, and the planet just started degrading. Now, this was not the outland type twisting nether explosion destruction, but just this gradual downfall that we don't really know why it happened. At the moment, the biggest speculation we have is that this might have something to do with the timelines and timelines, as keep in mind, we infiltrated this timeline and essentially changed the entire planet, which might have messed up some of the timeline problems. Processes. Maybe this was the way originally Draenor would have turned out had the Horde not been created and the Draenei would have become the aggressors, or most likely this was just our interference that created a massive problem. We know that the Legion was able to transcend timelines, which is why we defeated our Archimonde there, and I'm guessing this could have been the most likely trigger. So, long story short, the planet just started dying. This can then cause the Draenei to become crazy fanatical, to embrace the light even further and to try to convert the orcs and to blame them for their downfall. This also got the orcs to blame the Draenei and their light for what was going on to the planet. One thing led to another and this spread out into a literal all-out war, like a gigantic total war that completely changed the fate of Draenei. 
Yurel, that used to be a good character, got visions of this light mother, the army of the light that will apparently bring order to troubled worlds across the universe. As far as we know, the Draenei were the aggressors here, they got the orcs to convert willingly, but they were very few in numbers, so then they had to do it by force. The Draenei, with the help of the Naru, ended up being a lot stronger and they really just destroyed the orcs and took most of their territory. The orcs even got raided as switching allegiances and most interestingly there was actually an ogre clan that converted to the light which might just be the first time we had ever seen light ogres or ogre paladins. Then BFA happened, we thought to return to Alter Adreno to get some warriors for a cause and we just jump right into the middle or should I say more of the ending of this war where the orcs are just getting completely wrecked. To spare you this long questline we learn a few major things. Durotan and Raka had a child called Giara and Durotan the father of Troll actually died in the battle against Light from Draenei quite some time before we had arrived. Now, desperate to save at least some of the Megar, Grom the leader orders Giara to go with some of the Megar to our world, which is how we got the allied race that we can play as, and he holds his ground for them to go through. Then the timeline closes, but based on what we had seen, we can pretty accurately speculate that the orcs just got completely defeated. We even got some confirmation of the Light victory and Yrel as the Light Exarch. Now, keep in mind, these Light Draenei are not actually the Lightforge army of the Light, at least the ones that we can play as, but they may actually be somehow connected. Just how the Legion managed to transcend timelines, it is likely that the Naru they're communicating with are present in our timeline as well, which might actually be the key to them coming back soon. However, that is a topic for another video, but what actually happened to the planet itself? What do we know of the zones of Draenor and how would Ultra Draenor look today if we returned once again? Well, we can actually seen one part of it, it was Gorgrond, we know Gorgrond lost a lot of its nature, the sky was very cloudy, had a green tint, the orcs actually built a lot of new barriers, probably to replace the natural barriers that the nature previously provided. This type of destruction and deforestation is really strange, I mean the green tint does hint at the legion thing, but we know the legion is gone, it is not really characteristic of the light either, so this is very likely related to the timelines fading away, keep in mind we only saw Gorgrond but I'm guessing all the other zones were significantly affected as well, especially Tanan Jungle and the more forested areas. And you can guess with this loss of natural resources, things have really changed with the natives and the wildlife. We actually know there was a lot of trouble with the other natives because when the Mega arrived to Azeroth, a bunch of other natives actually escaped through the portal as well. We had seen Gron, Ogron, Sabron, and Botani arriving to Azeroth and going into the Barrens. We don't really know much about them or how they fared, but it is likely that some of them had settled in the areas of Kalimdor, but really not sure how actually sustainable their population is, although I'm guessing we might see some Botany in Ashenvale or if anything Emerald Dream related happens, but really all of that is speculation. Now in terms of Alter Adrenor itself, as I said none of our bases are active and all of them have been abandoned or destroyed, seeing that the orcs lost a lot of their territory, you can imagine most of the major settlements had also been destroyed or have been overtaken by the Draenei, seeing that the Draenei had really converted to light, I would imagine them today to look a lot more similar to the Lightforge Draenei as opposed to the regular Draenei that we had known there and their architecture should really be more Naru than Draenei like. So if we went back there now I could totally imagine a huge army of the light feeling to it and I would guess they have even gotten more fanatical with just complete control over the world. Now we don't know much about Terakoa and we were told about the remnants of the Hellfire Citadel, the status of it was unknown after the defeat of Archimonde. My guess is that it was overtaken by the allied forces after Warlords but now I would guess it could be the main base operations for the Light Draenei, seeing that they have complete control over Draenor. Now what is really interesting and important to keep in mind is that almost all this information is from BFA and we know more than 5 years have passed since then on Azeroth, which is actually a lot more than between Warlords and BFA, which means probably at least another 3 decades or so could pass on Alter Draenor, which means Yrel could be done who knows what by this point. I'm guessing they might have significantly strengthened themselves or the planet may have died even more and now they just need to jump ship and go into Azeroth, which could really play into the popular light invasion expansion that everyone has been talking about. Another interesting thing is that something might happen now with Nostormu and all this Dragonflight timeline stuff, which could lead into somehow combining actual Outland and alternate Draenor and saving both planets by somehow combining them and ultimately creating one single timeline, which might be the only way for Outland to go forward. However, there's just speculation, right now we can only wait for a bit more info, but I'm almost certain we're going to to get more alternate information with Yrel and her light army quite soon.
Thank you for watching, check out the new magic blitz that is created by clicking on the screen and check out the Nons Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time!